today, guys, we're going to be making a slingshot rocket. A slingshot rocket is a rocket that's easy to make and a slingshot that's easy to make. You will have to use safety precaution and have adult supervision. We're going to be using our materials from Giggle. Giggle is a fun kit with STEM activities that can be sent to your home that you can do a few activities throughout the month and you can receive this kit every month or someone could just send it to you for a gift. There are several activities in this STEM kit. There's the bottle rocket, there's the slingshot rocket, there's the launch pad, so many fun activities that you can explore STEM and use the engineer and design process. We're going to get started making our slingshot rocket. You're going to need simple, easy to find materials. Let's get started. You will need tape, scissors, straw, craft stick, cardstock, small paper clip, and a rubber band. First, we're going to make the slingshot. We're going to take our craft stick, put it on the strip of tape, which is about three inches long. We're going to take our rubber band and place on top and fold over the tape. Crease your sides so that it's in there really well and you have your slingshot. Next, we're going to make the rocket. You will need your straw, two strips of cardstock, paper clip, and several pieces of tape. First, we're going to make the fins. We're just going to cut each strip in the middle at an angle, diagonally. Take your fins, put the tape on, and tape your fins farther up. Leave a little bit of straw at the bottom for you to hold it. Take the other side and put your next tape. You're going to do this until you have all four fins taped to your straw. We have our fins on. Now we're going to add our paper clip. You're going to take your paper clip and unbend it and take the top and bend where you have this angle. You're going to take your paper clip, put it on at the top and tape it. tape so that it holds it in place. And so now we have our rocket and we have our slingshot. Let's have some fun. Now we have our rocket and we have our slingshot. We're going to take the rubber band and put it through the loop here of the paper clip and we're going to hold our rocket at the end. When we pull on the slingshot, we're using elastic energy, energy stored in this rubber band. When we release it, the energy that has been stored is going to shoot the rocket forward. Also, when we launch this rocket, 
We're using one of Newton's laws of motion. Newton came up with these three laws of motion, giving us an understanding of how things work in motion. And so his third law of motion for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Meaning that if I pull this way, the rocket is going to go back that way at an equal force um, when we pull on it. And also when we pull on it, we're going to get thrust. This rocket is going to be thrust into the air and it's going to continue to soar and move until it loses its resistance against gravity and then it's going to fall to the ground. All right, let's see if we can try this out and see if we can put Newton laws of motion into place. So we're using first our muscle energy. I need enough strength to get this elastic energy in play. And so I'm going to pull on it and release. And there she goes. Oh, that was neat, friends. So when you're trying this out, I want you to think of the laws of motion. And you want to think about the size of your rubber band and how much energy is in that elastic. So when you're trying this out, make sure you have on safety goggles. You can change your rocket fins to make them look however you want. And you can test to see how far of a distance you can get your rocket to go based on your slingshot. Remember friends, Giggles is a fun kit that you can get STEM activities in and that you can have fun at home with. I hope you enjoyed this video today and I hope you return next week to Michelle Gay Science Teacher where it's all about science.